I'm Dr. Susie Park, PharmD, Assistant Professor of Clinical Pharmacy at the University of Southern California School of Pharmacy. The issue of using atypical antipsychotic medications for managing primary insomnia is an important one for managed care and policy makers in hospitals because insomnia is a very common problem right now in the United States. It's been estimated that about one-third of Americans currently suffer some type of symptom associated with insomnia. What the managed care policymakers need to be aware of is that currently, to date, there is no long-term efficacy and safety data to suggest that atypical antipsychotic medications should in fact be used. Atypical antipsychotic medications should be managed on formularies by first recognizing that there are clear indications for their use. Evidence for efficacy and safety are in fact well documented and clearly evident for such psychiatric disorders including psychotic disorders such as schizophrenia, mood disorders such as bipolar disorders and major depressive disorder. And in fact, they've been shown efficacious for refractory cases of obsessive compulsive disorder. So clearly, there is a role for atypical antipsychotic medications where the studies clearly show that they are safe and efficacious. However, for the case of using them for primary insomnia, the evidence currently is lacking. The cost of insomnia to our current healthcare system in the United States is estimated to be about $10 billion annually. The loss of productivity associated with untreated or improperly managed insomnia is estimated to be roughly about $40 billion each year. Beyond that, unfortunately, fatigue-related car accidents associated with insomnia are estimated to cost about 2 to $4 billion each year. All of this forces us to consider that cost considerations in managing insomnia is a very important one.